starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Okay, uh, thank you. Welcome, everybody. Um, we are going to get uh, the party started today. So, uh, Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll? Good morning, Supervisor Gates. Here. Supervisor Galvin. Here. Supervisor Sellers. Here. Supervisor Gallardo. Here. Chairman Hickman. And here. Thank you. So um, today's a special day, of course, as always, but this is the part of our invocation and Pledge of Allegiance. And today, Supervisor Galvin um, is uh, sponsoring the prayer and the pledge. So if you could please um, introduce your guests. Mr. Chairman, thank you. It's my pleasure and honor to have Darcy Norbert, Mike Norbert, and Ryan Smith of the Hodge Trail Alliance do the pledge and the prayer for us today. Great, if we could all please rise. Dear God in heaven, Father of us all, we ask thee this day to be with us, that uh, we are grateful for the rain that we have received. We're grateful for this great state and county that we live in. We're grateful for the people that serve us and that do so much for our benefit and well-being. We pray that the rain will continue for moisture and that we will, con we will be an oasis as we have been for people to come, visit, live, work, and, and seek opportunity here in this beautiful part of the, our country. We are asking this day for blessings on our children and schools, that they may be safe and protected, that there may be unity, love, and peace in our hearts and the things that we may do may be for the benefit of others and we may follow the golden rule and treat others as we would want ourselves to be treated. We again are grateful for all that we have and that, that we've been brought here together to uh, discuss things that will benefit all the citizens in this county and people that live here for their benefit and their enjoyment. Again, we're grateful for what we have and ask for these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You join me. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, Supervisor Galvin. Mr. Chairman, thank you. If Ryan and Mike and Darcy would like to come up to the podium, I just want to acknowledge them and thank them. You know, being a supervisor, you are, I am in awe of many of the people that work here in Maricopa County, but one of the pleasant surprises is meeting and working with people who help make Maricopa County better on a volunteer basis. And the Haas Trail Alliance is one great example. And the Norbert family and the Smith family have done a great deal for Maricopa County. And when you talk about a county being a great place to live, work, and play, to me the word play is very important as well. It's equally important. We live in a beautiful state, we live in a beautiful county, and the Haas Trail Alliance led by Mike and Ryan and their friends have done a tremendous job in making Maricopa County more beautiful and a better place to play. And if you won't mind, Mr. Chairman, I wanna highlight the great things that they have done. Formed in 2018 as a 501c3, the Haas Trail Alliance is a nonprofit organization that was formed to create a partnership with Tonto National Forest to help maintain, enhance, and expand the Haas Trail system to be enjoyed by bikers, hikers, and all outdoor enthusiasts. What they have done so far is incredible. They've created and received National Forest Service approval of a master trail plan, including 25 miles of new trails. They've built over 27 miles of new trails with an additional 7.2 miles in the building process. They perform bi-monthly ongoing trail maintenance days. They installed signage posts at over 50 intersections. They've installed rollover gates at six critical access points. They've logged over 11,000 volunteer hours from hundreds of individuals, and they've raised $250,000 from private and corporate donors. And I spoke with them this morning, and they told me about one trail specifically, Boulder Dash, where it was over 2,000 man hours to create a trail. And I just think it's absolutely phenomenal. On behalf of Maricopa County, I want to thank you for the work you do. Also, please tell your organization that we thank them and thank you for coming this morning to do the prayer and the pledge. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. And you guys don't have to stick around. <laughs> the, 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 for, but if he's keeping you here. We want to see the, we want to see the pet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Only he, if you adopt it. They're available. I, I said it's my John Wick dog, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, today we're blessed. Uh, m most of the times we see Kim on, on video, but she must uh, 
think the world of this little guy's behavior uh, to be in person. So Kim's going to come up. And this name is very familiar to a guy in the poultry industry. Um, and I thought this was a trademark name. This guy's name is Butterball. Yes, this is Butterball. Okay. Appropriately named for sure. He is a short stacked pit bull mix of some sort, maybe Corgi in him. Uh, he is really well, well trained. He's been at the shelter since March 2nd, so just about a month now. Um, he is only three years old. He's a really good dog. He loves to play fetch, and I've learned that he is good with uh, sit, down, and shake, and that's probably just scratching the surface of how smart he really is. And he's very well trained. He knows I have treats in my pocket right now. Um, but sounds like we may have found his owner in the audience. Uh, his future adopter is here, it sounds like. Uh, but we do have our Bissell Empty the Shelters adoption event also starting this weekend, April 1st through the 10th. So all adoption fees are waived for dogs six months and older. So it's a great time to come meet your best friend. And maybe that's Butterball. Great. Uh, bids? <laughs> <laughs> Kim, I was going to ask you a question. We had a fantastic uh, event at Chase Field. Yes. Um, and uh, the pet that was up for adoption, I, I went back and told my parents about it. That was about the most beautiful Rottweiler oh. that was, I cannot believe he lasted a day in that shelter. Um, did, did he get adopted? Do you have a name? <laughs> I don't. We got quite a few. I, I, he was the show puppy of the year, though. But you, I can look into that for you. Uh, I'll find well, out which one. We got a few. I hope he. I hope he got a spectacular home. If you're looking for, for a Rottweiler. There's one named Bertha who would. Really? <laughs> She's a good dog. I'll tell my parents about. It. I already have. <laughs> t I already have two rescues. My 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 wife would uh, kill me if I brought one home. <laughs> so. Sometimes I think we're rescuing our kids more than the dogs So, uh, with their behaviors. So um, anyway, thanks for being here. It's great to see you in person. Yes. Um, and uh, best of luck uh, to Butterball to find a home. All right. Thank so, you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Juanita, are there any announcements or corrections to the agenda? Chairman, I have no announcements or corrections to this agenda. Okay. Thank you. Great, so we will go on into the business of the county. We're gonna start off with a presentation. Um, this is in recognition of, of Joy Rich, our county manager, for the years of service to Maricopa County. I thought it would be good to make some comments. Um, again, one of the worst days uh, I've had is when you called me and said, hey, I'm retiring on you. So. Uh, but it was a great day too, because um, I'm very, very proud of, of being able to serve uh, this, my entire career with you at the county. So uh, I thought I'd just put some comments down first um, and uh, give us all time too, because uh, Joy's been spectacular for us in her leadership role. There's, there's plenty of county business to get to today, but first we wanna take a minute to recognize a person who has had a hand in just about every aspect of county business for the past six and a half years. Joy Rich, our county manager since 2016, embodies everything you would want in a public servant. She has been a trusted advisor to all of us on the board, a mentor to her leadership team, a great boss to advocate for the 13,000 employees under her supervision. This is Joy's last meeting before her retirement on April 7th after more than 30 years of public service. We wanted to make sure she knew how we felt about her before she leaves, which is dangerous. Um, well, we've made a video, and I think we've all participated in this. So if we could please roll the video. We knew we had a superstar in Joy, and she understands the, the vitality of this organization and the county rests in its people. She is led by example. Uh, the, our county employees have been number one on Joy's mind, I think, since her first day. She's been an outstanding manager for Maricopa County. I met Joy actually when she was in planning and zoning, and I was at the General Motors Desert Proving Ground. You know, our people came in for a building permit, and she then said, okay, let me get a couple people to really understand what we're dealing with here to stand with me, and then you explain to me what you need to accomplish. And that whole process took 15 or 20 minutes, and she said, okay, I think we can work this out. And I thought, what a great problem solver. 
No, I will remember most of all when I first got appointed because that was such a whirlwind experience. And Joy was there for me every single minute of the day, especially when I had a lot of questions, didn't know where to go in the building. Uh, being able to work alongside her on uh, making this a more um, sort of positive place or inviting place for people with families. Uh, in particular, the efforts on the child care, you know, developing a child care center. That's something where um, I wish we could have done it earlier, but we wouldn't be doing it now if it wasn't for joy. It was a Saturday morning, uh, August of 2021. Uh, received a, an early morning phone call from Joy that uh, in this storm that covered, blanketed uh, Maricopa County, Gila Bend was devastated. She was all hands on deck. I mean, she has just been a rock star for Maricopa County. She's a working mom. She's got children now that are, that are in school away from her. Totally understanding if this is the time of her life that, that she wants to spend time with them. I think that's great. She's given a lot of lot of years, of great years to county service. But I know that she's earned some time to just enjoy what she wants to do and and I, uh, I, I wish her the best. I wish her nothing but the best. She's just a class act and uh, I'll always be grateful for the time I got to work with her. She has worked so hard, you know, this career in public service to have an opportunity and go do what she wants to do. I think it's great and I wish her the very best, but we are gonna miss her. Thank you so much, Joy. We wish you well. We know there's no such thing as retirement. You'll be right back doing some great stuff, I'm sure. We wish you well. Good luck, Joy. Hi, Mom. Congratulations on your retirement. Thank you for always being an inspiration to us and showing us the importance of hard work. We are beyond thankful for everything you've done for the both of us. Hope you have some more time to play Candy Crush. We love you, and once again, congratulations on your well-deserved retirement. Hi, Mom. Hi, Joy. Congratulations on your retirement. We love you and can't wait to spend more time with you. Can't wait to see you on the pickleball court for our brutal battles. <laughs> <laughs> So before I open it up uh, for comments from our board, and, and I'm gonna ask you too, Juanita, you're, you're gonna get a shot to say something here. Lucky. Um, I wanted to point out some things about Joy that some, uh, all of us know here, but uh, for the people watching at home, she is the first woman to hold the position of county manager. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. She has been recognized as Distinguished Professional Planner from the Arizona Planning Association in 2019. She received the Woman of the Year Award from Arizona Rock Products Association, Local Official of the Year from the National Association of Home Builders, and recognized by the Business Journal for her efforts with workforce, workforce diversity. She has championed the Workforce Transformation Initiative Restructuring Human Resources. The county's recruitment and retention efforts, including market range pay adjustments, tuition reimbursement, and, t and loan repayment programs. She initiated paid parental leave program, expanded flexible work schedules, and the development of a daycare center to, to better support our employees with small children. She's rebranded the county to create an updated identity and unity across our 13,000 employees and 50 departments. And thanks to her husband, Barry, and three daughters for sharing joy with us. Uh, well wishes as they get to spend more time together, uh, which is, you, we've talked about it all the time, how important our families are to us, and, and uh, you lead with that by example. We hear about your family, you, you, share, you share that with us, and we share our, our families with you because look what, you're do, what you've done for, for the families of the workers in, in Maricopa County, always looking at that and knowing how important uh, what we have back home is uh, to create a better, a better county for all. So um, with that, Joy, I, I'm, I get to be the very last person that, on some things I get to reflect on. So um, I would uh, ask uh, Juanita if she has anything to say. You guys have been working on this same floor together now for a couple, for many years, so. Well, thank you for the opportunity. I did not have anything. Um, <laughs> I don't have a speech yeah. prepared exactly, but Joy, I just want to wish you the best. Um, it has been a pleasure working with you um, on the same floor. You have, like the chairman said, led by example, many great accomplishments. Um, I have seen you as a great leader and 
someone, f an example for um, a lot of women in higher positions, but appreciate all the work that you have done in your service for Maricopa County. Thank you. Great, thank you. So I'm gonna go by, uh, I'm gonna go by seniority on the board. That's, that's how I get to wrap it up. So uh, Tom, uh, any, anything? Mr. Chairman, thank you. Joy, first of all, congratulations. You know, when I considered applying for the county board, one of the factors that led me to applying was that I already knew you had a great reputation as a great county manager. When I called people, everyone just said, Joy Rich is the absolute best. But now I've got to see it up close and personal for the last 16 months or so, working with you on a daily basis through the trials and tribulations. It's just been a great revelatory experience to see how you're able to capably manage and lead a county of 14,000 employees, work with a board of five uh, distinct individuals, but also take care of 4.5 million county taxpayers. But at the same time, your grace, your dignity has shown through and your love for your family. And I think that's what makes the total package of who you are, a great person, a great leader, a great mentor, and a great colleague. I'm gonna miss you tremendously. I wish we had a lot more time to work together. But one thing I know is that the name Joy Rich will echo throughout Maricopa County for years to come because of all of your great and considerable accomplishments. So thank you and congratulations. Awesome, uh, Jack. Thank you, Chairman. You know, a couple of months ago when, uh, when Joy walked into my office, uh, myself and my chief were in the office and she closed the door and I thought this is not gonna be good. <laughs> and uh, it was even worse than I thought it, it could be. She said, uh, I'm planning to retire and I said, I vote no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, seriously, um, the involvement I've had in the National Association of Counties, you know, we are the, the fastest growing county for a reason. It's because we are the best run county in the country as well. And my involvement with the National Association of Counties, everywhere I go, people are always talking to me about what a great job we do and asking for our input on, on what things they can do to improve their operations. Uh, it's phenomenal. I mean, it just never ends. So thank you for all, all, all of that. Um, the other thing I'll mention is that I feel like the, the measure of a true leader is how a person reacts, how a leader reacts when they're faced with a crisis, with challenges that really no one has seen before and don't know how to deal with. And during my chairmanship, we went through a pandemic and an audit, in quotation marks, by the state Senate. And Joy was calm and rational and logical about every single issue that we were faced with and dealt with it and resolved it. I can't imagine any leader being doing a better job than you did. So thank you and we will miss you. Great. Bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it, it is a sad day, but it's a joyful day as well, sorry. Um, but I, I, wanna, I wanna pick up on where Jack ended, which is the way that you dealt with, with so many uh, multiple crises here in Maricopa County. We really do find out what someone is made of in those, in those times. And not once did I ever have any concern because of the steady hand that you had and the, you were willing to put whatever work needed to be put into it to get us where we needed to be, whether it was issues with elections, whether it was COVID. And so I, I thank you so much for that. We would be in a different place as a county if it were not for your leadership. And so you could just rest on those laurels and you'd be set. But I'm so proud of what you did in the, you know, the calmer days. And this is, this is what I would say. You have made Maricopa County an employer of choice mm -hmm. for employees throughout Maricopa County. And you did that in a very intentional way. You went about, you said, look, we're not gonna be top of the pay range. That's not who we are. But how can we get there? How can we be fiscally responsible and create a place where people would wanna come to work? And you've done that, that has been set forth. Um, and I'm so proud of your leadership on that because that would not have happened without you. And now people are gonna, we're gonna have better employees, we already do. We're gonna continue to have better employees into the future who are gonna have better lives and their families are gonna have better experiences because of the leadership that you've shown. No one can replace you. 
No one can replace you. Um, but I'm excited about the future, both for Maricopa County with our new leadership, but more importantly, the future for you. You now can go and do those things that you're passionate about beyond Maricopa County and relish every day. Please do. We'll be here. Let us know if there's anything that you need, but you were sharing with me some of your plans for the future, and, and I am so excited. Don't listen to Steve Gallardo. You go retire. <laughs> you enjoy yourself, and, and thank you so much for everything that you've done. It's been a true honor to work with you. Thank you, Bill. Um, Steve. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Joy, it was um, quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting you letting us know you were going to, to step away and retire. Um, I was kind of thrown back. I wasn't expecting it, but I understand. Um, I can tell you, uh, you've just been um, just an excellent leader. And going back to what Supervisor Gates said, um, the way you have moved this county forward and really have put not our employees definitely front and center. Parental leave program, huge. I mean, it doesn't get the the spotlight, but it's huge. We know it. Um, when it comes to uh, to making sure the employees are not only having a a, a safe and friendly and, and great experience here at the county, um, but to be able to take care of their families, that's huge. When you talk about retaining and recruiting, that's what employees are looking for. They can go anywhere. They can go to Phoenix. They can go to state. They come here. They come here because of the direction that you have placed for our employees. Um, when it comes to taking care of our constituency, our families, you have been just front and center. You and I have had many, many conversations. And folks, I don't think you guys know this. I mean, I'm a person that will call, call Joy <laughs> on a weekend, you know, it's like, and she answers and she's on top of it. And she could easily tell Steve, you know, we'll deal with it on Monday, but she's on top of it. And even on the Gila band, I couldn't be more, more uh, 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 thankful for your quick response on that. I mean, we had, uh, we had a couple of folks that had passed away in that one. Uh, we have families that were devastated. It was, it was uh, something that I never anticipated until I went out there and I saw the, the water markings. But you were on top of it. You didn't blink an eye. You got uh, the team together and you were able to address emergency management type situation right there in Gila Bend. Um, you have just been a great inspiration for a lot of folks. The fact, I mean, we talked about the first female county manager, I can't believe it's taken that long, but nonetheless, we have broken that glass city. You have broken that glass ceiling, Joy. You, you know, you, there are going to be uh, so many that are going to look and say, you know, I can, I can run the fourth largest county in this country. I can be able to do exactly what Joy has done. And uh, so I couldn't be more thankful. And yes, I do believe there's no such thing as retirement. So you want to be on a parks board? You want to P and P and Z? Isn't that right up your alley? <laughs> Isn't that right up your alley? Or is that what you're retiring from? But nonetheless, <laughs> um, you have just been a great inspiration, a true leader. And uh, so many times, uh, what I always appreciate is you don't tell me what you think I want to hear. You tell me the truth. And even the stuff that just, I want to just hit my head, but it's the truth. And you're honest, you're blunt, you're straightforward, you, um, you are very uh, professional when it comes to, but you have that joking side of you as well, that humorous side of you, and I appreciate that. Uh, but it, I can't imagine the county being without you, Joy. You've just been an inspiration for everybody. And just thank you for your service, everything you've done for our families, our kids, our employees, you have made them top priority as you move forward through this county. So best of luck, and if you ever want to be on a board, please give me a call. <laughs> well, do you see why I'm going last? Just because uh, I, I could have said everything uh, that my, my colleagues up here have said. Um, uh, but I get to go last because uh, I've served the most amount of time with you as on this board uh, uh, prior, you know, to these guys arriving. So. You know, I instead of rereading the speech of uh, George Washington and uh, turning over the Continental Army uh, and saying I'm I'm done with leadership, you know, uh, it's kind of like that. You're turning over an army uh, filled with leaders, actually, uh, that you have uh, prepared. And I saw that uh, uh, out of Tom too, uh, when Tom called me and retired, and you know, uh, as I was chairman back then. 
I, I said, oh my gosh, you know? And he goes, but Clint, you're getting well-trained leaders. Uh, so matter, no matter who you pick, uh, that person's gonna get a great team. And, uh, and I really thought, no, uh, I'm going forward and this is a, a new county manager that we're gonna have a hand in picking. There's no way somebody's gonna, you know, exceed a guy like Tom. But, but, he, but you did, I mean, because you learned from him and then you developed your team. And I know that, and Tom, every time I would call him, which is gonna happen to you too, and I would call you and say, hey, I'm gonna call Tom, especially during the pandemic, like, what, what are we not doing? What are we doing? You didn't, you didn't take offense with that. It's like, hey, man, we need it. This has never been faced before. What, what do we need to do? And, um, you know, so Jen, I'm just warn, warning you, I'm gonna be calling Joy and saying, hey, is uh, she doing the right thing here? So there. <laughs> um, but uh, you, you, I'll just reflect back on, on, on the pick that we just had to, to make yesterday. You, we went out nationwide and searched and it was uniform. You're offering up two internal candidates that is gonna be hard to look past. And, and boy, was that a tough decision because there's two great leaders that we got to pick from. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, and again, thank you guys for participating, both of you. Um, I also look on a historical perspective that so much of what a county manager does is, is to make sure that our employees are represented when it comes to policies, provisions, and to wanna work here. And to think that, you know, I'm looking at all the, lead, the current leaders, but to see Jan Plank, our former head of human resources, to be here to celebrate you, that's tough, you know, that's a tough thing to pull off. Uh, some of my old human resources people at my farm probably wouldn't wanna show up. Uh, but, but thank you for being here too, Jan. And then you have Laura now uh, that gets to work with the people that you've trained. So, Joy, I, I couldn't be happier for you. I have a, I have a young family too. Um, I'm looking forward to spending uh, time with them uh, also in formative years you have, and plus you're gonna have a great time, I can see with those daughters and Barry. So um, again, you've been spectacular. You'll stay on my speed dial, sorry. And, and I, what I'm hearing is you're gonna stay on the speed dial of all these other colleagues too. It's, it's awfully hard, it has to be hard to work with five different bosses of varying, <laughs> varying wants and needs for their own respective districts, but forming up to, to understanding how to run a county. So thank, thank you for that. Um, so with that, would you like to say anything? Because I have a plaque and I'm gonna force you to take a picture with us, uh, but please. Mr. Chairman, if I could just for a couple moments. Mm -hmm. Just thank you profoundly. I came here almost 26 years ago from the city of Phoenix. Uh, the city had just been named the best run city in the world. Mm -hmm. And Maricopa County was generally regarded as the worst run government. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought it was an opportunity to come here and build my resume, but I did think I was just passing through. I thought I'd stay here a couple years and go back to one of the cities and it was just an opportunity. Opportunity. Once I got here, I was hooked. I mean, the tremendous work that is done here, I think, is not known by a lot of people. It wasn't known by me, even though I was working in local government. But, you know, you often hear me say, we meet a lot of people on their very worst day. That is absolutely true. And that, to me, is the role that government needs to serve. So when you're in crisis, no matter where you find yourself or your family finds yourself, you know that now with our branded Saguaro, you can find the help that you need um, here at Maricopa County. And clearly the employees are a very, very important part of that. And we've talked a lot about that and the tremendous crew that we have here that I couldn't be more grateful for. And I'll talk about a couple of them because they're gonna be continuing to lead you moving forward. But the other thing I'm very proud of and why I go out and talk about this experience is working for such a principled group of elected officials. You have, I mean, I've watched what you've gone through the sacrifices personally, professionally, and politically that you have made to do the right thing. Um, obviously, elections are front of top of mind when we talk about that, but COVID was no picnic for you mm -hmm. either. Um, and as we watched others sacrifice their staffs across the country, not follow scientific evidence and making decisions, but make political decisions instead, you uh, 
always did the right thing. And we talk about those 830 phone calls. You were always present there. Uh, in, because of open meeting laws, we could only have two of you, the chairman and another uh, supervisor on every morning. But your chiefs were there every morning. You engaged for hours every day with staff. And even at the time, I thought, I think w this is beyond unique. And we are beyond fortunate, because I don't think anywhere else were the elected officials and the appointed staff rowing in the same direction in a time of crisis like that. And I just really feel that that was a very, very special opportunity and is emblematic of who we are as a team and who this staff is uh, supporting you. I have no qualms that this leadership team and uh, the folks here are well prepared. This place is going to run the same the day after I leave as the day before. Um, and you've mentioned some of the tremendous leadership. I have a great team that reports to me, um, CJ, Laura, Fields. Uh, I hope I don't miss anybody here. Um, Joanne Rangel, who runs my office, is unbelievable. I didn't know Joanne when I got here. I consider her a friend for life. I admire her so much as both a human being and how she runs uh, the workplace. Um, we have three unbelievable assistant county managers. Um, Valerie Beckett, who uh, I've worked with for many, many years. You know how strong and determined a woman she is. When something needs fixed, Val goes and fixes it. But she's a warm, loving person who supports her staff and her colleagues. Um, Leanne Bone, we would not have survived COVID without the ARPA CARES Queen. She got a billion <laughs> dollars out into the community uh, in a responsible way so that they were fully supported. Um, I'm probably missing some folks. Oh, Michelle in government relations and her team. I mean, she just quietly gets the job done. She never takes a victory lap. Um, she is highly strategic in what she does. Again, I just couldn't be prouder to work with her. And then I think we need to talk a minute about Ms. Jen Pekorski because she is going to be a tremendous county manager for you. She has come up through the ranks here. I remember when I first met Jen, she was going to join our ombudsman team. We met her at the flood control district. Val said, I think I found somebody really special. She was spot on. Jen is like many of the other hidden gems we have out there that just need to be discovered and nurtured. And she is going to do tremendous things for Maricopa County. I'm going to be cheering you and her on from the sidelines as a county resident. And I am forever grateful for the opportunity you've given me. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. So I'm going to invite you down for a picture with the board, but I'm also going to turn the turn this over to you a little bit too, Joy. There's a lot of uh, agency. I, I know what your, your brevity is always striking. You know that we have a meeting to run, but there's not a lot of things on this agenda. So slow us down for a minute. If you want to take a picture with your agency heads and the people, uh, I want to be able to afford that to you too. Um, so because there's you, you can't point them all out, but PNZ is here, procurement's here, uh, McDot's here. I mean, and, and everybody is here because not because they feel like they have to be. It's they want to be uh, because you're such a great leader, and I I, I want to afford you that opportunity to get some pictures uh, with them as well. So, um, Jesse Fields, okay, let's let's go board board first.
Kogan. Any Kogan? Pretend you guys like each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nudge me, okay? I will. <laughs> I mean, come on, Joy. We got some work to do. Let's go. Enough of the pictures. <laughs> Thank you, uh, everybody, for, for that. Um, I, I promised, I promised my guys, we don't have very much uh, on the agenda, so, uh, so now it'll be all up to you to speed it up. So, uh, and thank you for uh, the people that are here for, for the business of the meeting and watching. Uh, so thank you for that small delay, uh, because uh, it's definitely worth it to us and our, and our people here uh, to celebrate joy. Okay, uh, we'll now move on then to statutory hearings. Um, under transportation, six through nine, patent easement abandonments. Uh, road file number PAB0211, road file PAB0203, uh, road file number PAB0207, road file number PAB0166. Uh, Madam Clerk, are there any registered speakers or comments received on items five through nine? Chairman, none were received for these items. I'm sorry, that was six through nine. Thank you. Uh, then the board will now consider items six through nine. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items six through nine. Thank you, Tom. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion to second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Uh, under County Officers, Board of Supervisors, number 10, an IGA MOU regarding RIO, Re oh, <laughs> Rio imagined? Oh, okay, RAO, Rio, acronyms. I don't even know what's an acronym anymore. Rio, reimagine, Urban Waters Ambassador. The, the board will now consider item number 10. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of item number 10. Thank you, Jack. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Tom. I have a motion to second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> Hearing none, motion carries. Under County Officers Still Board of Supervisors, uh, the number 11 is an appointment of a constable for the Moon Valley Precinct. Um, this is in Mr. Gates' um, district. Mr. Gates. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, well, from time to time, this board has the opportunity to um, appoint folks when we have vacancies in different offices, and, and one of those offices is constable. And we've talked about this position recently. Um, 
all of the positions across the, the county are important, but this is a particularly important position in that you've got a lot of interaction with the public. As Joy Rich said, fortunate, unfortunately, on people's you know roughest days, uh, oftentimes. And so um, w when I was looking at a person to fill this vacancy, I was looking for someone that knew how to deal with the public, had a kind heart and compassion. And by when using those criteria, uh, it became very clear to me who I wanted to appoint as a member of this board and suggest as a motion uh, for this board. And uh, that is a young man by the name of Matthew McRae. Um, I had the opportunity to meet Matthew at a couple of opportunities and very impressed with him. He has a degree in criminology from ASU, so he wants to help protect um, uh, the people of Maricopa County, have a career focused on public safety, but doing that with a compassionate heart. Uh, so with that, uh, Mr. Chair, I would move uh, that Matthew McRae be appointed as the new Moon Valley Constable. Thank you, Supervisor Gates. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Tom. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Is he here? And he is here. Bill? Uh, and you. Yeah, Mr. Chair, if I could just ask our, our brand new Moon Valley Constable, uh, Mr. McCray, if you could just please stand for us and thank you so much for your willingness to serve. Okay. Welcome to the family. <laughs> now get to work. <laughs> thanks for being here and thanks for, thanks for seeking the appointment. Um, okay. Uh, we'll then move on to uh, next, which is uh, county still under county officers under clerk of the board number 12, a special event license for Anthem Rotary Foundation under clerk of the court, 13 appointments and under county attorney, 14 settlement in Maricopa County versus Purdue Pharma et al. The board will now consider items 12 through 14. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 12, 13 and 14 with a comment. Great. I'll look for a second. Second. Good, we have a motion a second. Jack. Yeah, I, I just want to thank our Maricopa County Attorney's Office for all the work they've done on item number 14, getting this settlement. They've really played a leadership role in this. Uh, I'm not sure it would have happened without their leadership, so thank you. Thank you for commenting on that, Jack. It has been a lot of work um, uh, that they did here in this space to, to bring this to, to this, not so much conclusion, but to up to this vote. So we do have a motion to second. All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. And Mr. Chairman, real quickly, sure. on just, just on item 14, it, uh, this is just really the, in my opinion, the first step. I mean, there's, there's some communities and families that are struggling um, because of the situation that they're placed in with, with this. And hopefully we can start that road to really recovery and helping families, helping kids and educating and all that good stuff. So. Agreed wholeheartedly. Thank you, Steve. Okay, moving on then. Under Sheriff 15, IGA with City of Sholo. Uh, 16, rescind and replace competition and practical for uh, Leeds Online LLC. Number 17, supplement to the agreement with the Office of National Drug Control Policy. 18, annual renewal of deep undercover vehicle registrations. 19 is FY 23, or 23 budget adjustment for one-time items. And under treasure, number 20 is repurchase agreement contract with Daiwa Capital Markets America, Inc. The board will now consider items uh, 15 through 20. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 15 through 20. Great, I have a motion, do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Under Judicial Branch, Superior Court 21, permanent additions to fleet. 22, appoint attorneys as Superior Court judges pro tem. 23, appoint Superior Court commissioners as Supreme Court judge pro tempor. The board will now consider item 21 through 23. Mr. Chair, move approval of items 21 through 23. Thanks, Bill. We have a second. Second. Thanks, Jack. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Under county management, 
uh, Management, Assistant County Manager Leanne Bone, 24, American Rescue Plan Act expenditure approval and budget adjustment. The board will now consider item 24. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve item number 24. Thank you, Tom. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. I'll give it to Jack. Uh, so I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Under county offices, animal care and control, 25, New Hope Agreement with Little Angels Dog Rescue, 26, donation and budget adjustment. Under correctional health, uh, 27 is an agreement with Valle del Sol. And number 28, amend the MOU with Care First. The board will now consider items 25 through 28. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items 25 through 28. Great. Thank Second. You. Great, uh, thanks to both of you. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Under county offices, elections 29, precinct committeemen. The board will now consider item 29. No, next item. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I move approval of item number 29. Second. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Now I'll bring it to a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. But Mr. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, real, real quickly, uh, before you call the vote, my plea to uh, to try to change some minds here. No, I, I think, you know, I understand the, the role of the precinct committee. I'm a precinct committee myself. I think there's others on this board that may be PCs as well. Uh, but nonetheless, I understand. But I I mean, we're, we're appointing folks that we had know nothing about. We do a huge vetting on folks that are running for constable, legislature, and I get it. But even though this is lower than, it's at the end of the elector scales, it's the smallest elector type person that is put on our ballot. But I really believe this is a role of the political parties to come to us without knowing who they are and to say, we're gonna bless you and say, you are now a deemed an elected official here in Maricopa County. Yes, it's at the bottom of our, of, our, of our role here, but nonetheless, I just don't believe it should be the role of the Board of Supervisors. And it happens all the time. You know, we, we vote these out and then the media calls and says, hey, you know, you voted, you voted yes on this particular person who did something very bad. So, well, I didn't know. You know, it's, it's, it's just, I just don't believe it's our role. So I would hope, and I always pushed this when I was in legislature, that the legislature would amend this and make this a party function where the state party chairs make that type of decision or the county chairs make that decision, not us. So that's my reason for always voting no. And, and I appreciate the PCs, trust yeah. me. A lot of them are my friends and I'm a PC myself, but I just don't believe it should be our role. Steve, I'm, I'm glad you touched on the, the statutory requirements yeah. uh, and that you, even at the legislature, when you could make laws or change laws, you pushed for that, um, but I'm I'm hoping they hear you and at least can can figure out at least what could be a better way to vet candidates. Because look, you pointed out some. We made an appointment to a constable. You were able to spend time and look deep into how that guy that person is going to serve and and his mind frame about this job and what we're doing right now, and I always have uh, since I've been on this board, is just appoint people on a list with names that I don't recognize. So I appreciate that. Good luck as you continue to put, uh, push the, that statute change uh, forward. And um, I'm, I'm here to hear it when it gets to that point. So. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, but we did take a vote, right? And uh, we did appoint these uh, precinct committee men. haven't called the vote yet. I didn't call the vote? We didn't vote? We did vote, but you didn't say if I won or these guys won. Oh, well, I think with my arithmetic, I counted four to one. And so towards our statutory authorities, that's a winning vote. Thank you. You lost. Okay. <laughs> the first time. <laughs> All right. Under equipment services, 30, renewal of vehicle exemptions from markings. Under finance, 31, funds, transfers, and warrants. Human resources, number 32, amend premium pay rates and approve veterinarian retention incentive. Number 33, revision to Maricopa County Employee Leave Policy, HR 2415. And number 34, market ranges. The board will now consider items 30 through 34. 
Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items 30 through 34. Thank you, Supervisor Galvin. I have a second. Second. <clears throat> Thank you, Supervisor Gallardo. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Human Services, 35 through 36, amend agreements with Community Bridges, Inc., uh, Town of Gila Bend, 37, receipt of carryover funding from the Office of Head Start, 38, early termination of lease agreement with Child Crisis Arizona, 39, submit application for continuation funding for FY24 program activities. The board will now consider items Ms. 35 through, oh, I'm sorry, do you want me to take 39 Mr. off? Chairman, I have a question about number 38. Number 38. Question. Yep. Okay, before I call the roll, uh, yes, sir, please. Um, who would you like to see up here? Uh, if Leanne or anyone from staff who can answer, just a quick question I have about this. Welcome, Ms. Leanne Boone. Thank you, Chairman. Okay. Good morning, thank you. Um, just thought if you could quickly give an overview of what we are proposing to do here. And then, you know, first of all, our kids are gonna be absorbed into other schools and to our families being made aware that there are choices available for them if they would have any questions. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, Supervisor Galvin. Um, yes, yeah, so this, uh, we currently lease two classrooms at this site. We're only using one, so it's un an underutilized location to begin with. It is one of our most expensive lease spaces for Head Start programming, and the lease is going up. All of the kids in this classroom are aging out to kindergarten. So they will all be moving on to kindergarten. No one will be left without services. Perfect. Thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Very important. Yep. Thank you for that question, Tom. Okay. Um, now looking for a motion. Mr. Chairman, in that vein, uh, with appreciation to staff for answering that question, I move to approve items 35 through 39. Thank you, Tom. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Jack. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Under procurement services, 4342, contracts for a job order contractor for facilities management, modular furniture and related services, electronic resources and multimedia downloads under public health, 34, I'm sorry, 43 through 44, amend agreement and contract with Frontier Nursing University, provide provider tech LLC, 45 is an addition of a trailer to fleet, and number 46 is apply for grant funding from United States Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, the board will now consider items 40 through 46. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 40 through 46. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Um, and thank you both to uh, Kevin Tyne. Uh, and Marcy Flanagan for being here representing the departments. They're very important to us. Still under Public Health um, 47, IJ with Arizona Board of Regents on behalf of Arizona State University, 48, termination of lease agreement with Greater Phoenix Urban League, 49, increase to master agreement for testing and training services related to COVID. And under real estate, number 50, agreement for early termination of lease with the Arizona Health and Rehab LLC. The board will now consider items 47 through 50. Mr. Chair, move approval of items 47 through 50. Thank you, Supervisor Gates. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Tom. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Under transportation, 51, road file number 4453-R, 52, accept state funding from Arizona Department of Emergency and Military Affairs, 53 through 54, accept federal funding from Maricopa Association of Governments, 55, Gila Bend Emergency Storm Drainage Repair Relief Funds, 56, agreement with Salt River Project, and, myth, and 57, easement, right-of-way, and relocation assistance documents. The board will now consider items 51 through 57. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 51 through 57. Thank you, Jack. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Steve. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. And Steve, isn't that nice to see uh, item number 55 for Gila Bend? We, we met each other out there and we got to see the county in action and some of the infrastructure that's been put in since the flood. So it's great to see it. 
uh, under setting of hearings, planning and zoning, 58, planning and zoning, setting of hearings. The board will now consider item number 58. Move approval of item 58. Thank you, Bill. Second. Thank you, Steve. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Consent agenda, 59, donations. 60, duplicate warrants. 61, still dated warrants. 62, delinquent property tax interest waiver, House Bill 2025. 63, tax abatement. 64, treasures collections and disbursement summary for February 2023. Number 65, Head Start Program January 2023 report. And number 66, Check Enforcement Fund qu Quarterly Report. The board will now consider items 59 through 66. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items 59 through 66. Great, thank you, Tom. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Jack. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Under consent, Agenda continued, 67, settlement resolution of property tax cases and claims. Um, Supervisor Gates. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, potential conflict on this item. Thank you, Supervisor Gates, as you leave the dais. Okay, uh, the board will now consider item 67. Move for approval. Thank you, Jack. Second. Thank you, Tom. You have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. We will invite Supervisor Gates back to the dais. Great. Welcome back, Bill. <laughs> Under County Attorney 68, accept supplemental FY23 victim compensation funding in 69. Quarterly RICO expenditure application FY23 Q4. The board will now consider items 68 and 69. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Great. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. We will now recess as the Board of Supervisors and convene as the Flood Control District Board of Directors. Under Flood Control District 70, Minutes 71, IGA with the City of Scottsdale 72. Adjustment to FY23, Flood Control District Grant Fund Budget. 73, resignation from the Flood Control Advisory Board, the Flood Plan, Flood Plain Review Board, and the Board of Hearing Review Board. And number 74, easement right-of-way and relocation assistance documents. The board will now consider items 70 through 74. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to approve item, a motion to approve items 70 through 74, but I'd also like to make a comment about number 71, please. Okay, uh, do I have a second? Second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Supervisor Galvin. Mr. Chairman, thank you. I just want to address this IGA with the City of Scottsdale for the Pima Road Drainage Channel Project. This is a good long-term project that will provide much-needed flood protection and mitigation for 129 structures in Scottsdale. This is a productive partnership where the county funds 65% of the project cost at approximately $11 million, while the City of Scottsdale funds the other 35%, which is approximately $6 million. We appreciate the hard work between the Maricopa County Flood Control District and the City of Scottsdale getting this project moving forward, which will benefit many Scottsdale residents. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Tom. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. We will now adjourn as the Flood Control District Board of Directors and reconvene as the Board of Supervisors. Uh, item 75 is our public comment period. Uh, Madam Clerk, do you have anything to report regarding public comment email responses? Chairman, Supervisors, we received only one comment via email regarding animal care and control, and this comment has been shared with all of the board offices. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Are there any speaker slips for the public comment period? I do not have any speaker forms for public comment. Okay, great. Uh, with that, moving on then, we will go to item 76, Supervisor's Summary of Current Events, where the board members and county manager get a chance to speak. Um, so I will go to you today, Joy. Mr. Chairman, I think I've said quite enough today, <laughs> but I, I do really want to thank you for today. It's meant a great deal to me, hearing from all of you, seeing my family in the video. So a sincere thank you. I really, it means a great deal to me what's happened here today. Thank you. Great, Joy. You deserved it. Um, I'll just, I guess, start from my right today. Uh, Supervisor Gates. Well, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you for a wonderful tribute um, for Joy 
today. I thought that was so so well handled. Um, the, this is that time of the year where people are getting out a lot more in the district and uh, very excited uh, that this Friday we will uh, be a part of the Farm Bureau uh, Farm City Breakfast. Uh, so it'll be Friday morning. Uh, would love to see everybody out there. Uh, we're gonna be up at the Arizona Wholesale Nursery where uh, this has been held for many years now. And uh, I think I'll have a couple of my friends from Phoenix City Council are gonna be coming over. I uh, will have the extension office from the University of Arizona always put on a great presentation and we're really grateful for that partnership from uh, Farm Bureau. I see our assessor back there, Eddie Cook. I hope that uh, he'll have a chance to stop by. Uh, that'll be great, it'll be great to see him and hopefully some other friends from around the county. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Great, thank you. Tom. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Good times last week. I was at the uh, grand opening for the new Southeast Justice Center. We were joined by um, Judge Pamela Gates and uh, Judge Anna Huberman. And then obviously uh, um, Supervisor Sellers, I almost called you Chairman, and uh, I almost called you Chairman, Supervisor Gates were there as well. <laughs> Sorry, Clint. <laughs> but you know, the, the, this facility is fantastic. It's a streamlining of these operations. We've gone from four buildings to one building. We have updated technology, which streamlines and consolidates our services, which is ultimately um, in the best interest of our taxpayers. Um, I had my Farm City breakfast last week at the Freeman Corn Patch in Mesa, which was co-hosted by Councilman Mark Freeman, who's been a great friend to District 2. I think we had over 100 people. Jack, you were there. It was a great turnout, a great event. I really looked forward to it, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And then finally, once again, Mr. Chairman, thank you for the nice tribute that we had for Joy Rich today. I want to also thank the communications team for a really good video. Um, and then just one again, thank you, Joy, and wish you the best of luck. And I know you won't be, but don't be a stranger. Great, thank you, Tom. Hey, don't worry. I know he's been a chairman, you've been a chairman, and I've been a chairman countless times. Someday you'll be a chairman, but it takes votes. <laughs> you have a long memory. <laughs> you and I are in the same boat, but I've been here a lot longer. Jack. Uh, thank you, Chairman. And uh, yeah, I, I, I really appreciated and enjoyed the opening of the Justice Center and that serves both of our districts. And uh, uh, Judge Pamela Gates was there along with her husband. It was a very nice event. Uh, and, and what an impressive uh, efficiency that, that uh, court will bring to the Southeast Valley. Uh, really well done. Uh, I also uh, attended a tour of our elections uh, center with the Committee for Safe and Secure Elections. And again, you know, this is people from all over the United States who want to come and see how we run our elections because we do such a great job. You know, all the noise that we hear out in the community, uh, but the people that really are the professionals in this business recognize that this is one of the best elections groups in the entire country. Uh, I also attended a, uh, a reception for the new ADOT director, Jennifer Toth, at the uh, Arizona Council for Engineering Consultants. And that was well attended, really an impressive group of folks. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's encouraging to see that uh, Jennifer is so highly respected throughout the entire state. Um, I also attended uh, the International State of the State that was uh, presented by Governor Hobbs. Uh, it was a packed house at the Biltmore. Um, and I, I, I just was so impressed with all hearing once again all the foreign direct investment that we've attracted into this state. You know, we're looking at almost $50 billion in foreign direct investment here. But of course, it reminds me that the work that I'm doing really needs to intensify to ensure that we have the critical infrastructure in place to support this expansion. But one of the things that was announced at that, at that meeting was that uh, we're getting a $5.5 billion battery factory in Queen Creek, which is in my district. So really exciting things going on. Uh, 
the uh, you know the, the the rest of the story on critical infrastructure. I you know I'm, I'm on the board of Valley Metro, so I've attended the meeting there. Uh, transportation business partners. I, I brought uh, the folks from Maricopa Association of Governments in there to talk to the business community about why about how important Prop 400 extension is for air quality. And unless we get our air quality uh, business properly aligned, our expansion's gonna stop. We right now are, are rated moderate for air quality and we're we're facing becoming rated serious. Uh, you know, and some people are saying, even if we do all these things, we still can't comply. But the point is we have to do all these things so that if we don't comply, we can at least say, here's why we can't comply. We've done everything that is really possible. Uh, and so we're working towards that. Um, I think I probably have talked enough. <laughs> but, but Joy, again, we, we miss you already. Thank you for your leadership. It's been a pleasure working with you for the time I've been on this board. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. I, I'm going to go a little bit weird here, uh, but there's a county elected uh, here that, that's attended, and we, we got a, a chance to represent our districts and talk about you, Joy. Um, so... Before I go to Steve, I don't know if our assessor wants uh, to say anything uh, because, you know, your office and this team works a lot with just not just these electeds, but but some other electeds too. So I was hoping maybe Eddie has some words. Well, Mr. Chair and members of the board, thank you very much. I wish I would have known about the morning ceremony. I would have tried to figure out how to get my schedule worked out to come honor you. Um, um, being here in the office for three years um, uh, has shown what one team is about. And we talk about that quite a bit on with my team. And uh, Joy, with your leadership and the rest of your colleagues here that are elected, that one team spirit is just expanded upon across the entire county. And I have a gift for you on behalf of the assessor's office. It's one of my challenge coins. Uh, it's in copper, which are obviously one of the C's here in the state of Arizona, but on the back of it, it says one team. And want to continue to have you part of our one team here in our assessor's office, as well as all the other elected's office, but here as it relates to you folks and creating the one team in that culture. And I couldn't be more proud and excited to be part of that one team. And again, many, many thanks for your many years of faithful service to our community here in the county as well as the state of Arizona. Um, we will miss you. I did congratulate your next, you know, um, uh, county manager recently, and I'm looking forward to meeting with her uh, and just kind of catching up as well. But uh, again, many, many thanks. Great. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie, and thank you for representing the the other the what we call the other electeds here. So thank you for that. I'm sure all, all of them would have said the same thing with that one team. So I appreciate it, Steve. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, yes, once again, thank you, Joy, for your service and everything you have done for our constituency, our families, our employees. Uh, once again, you've just been a, a true role model for for everybody. So thank you once again. Um, I also have, apparently I have a vacancy on the flood control hearing board, so we'll talk later. Um, but nonetheless, I just want to say thank you, Joy. Um, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, real briefly, uh, last week we had the honors of being out in Glendale for a groundbreaking um, uh, new complex, a $120 million uh, new complex for affordable housing. This was a partnership by, it, it's, it's, this is a, this is a, a, a wonderful example of what can happen when everyone comes together, puts their heads together, maximizes their dollars, and makes something great. This is in a part of Glendale that um, has his challenges, and you got the city, you got the county, you got the state, you got private, all coming together 
to create this beautiful facility of 368 units. I believe it's 368 units, is that right? I'm always wrong on that one. 368 units of, of affordable housing. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Once again, you know, this beautiful project comes to Glendale and uh, my hats off to the elected officials out in Glendale who really take a courageous stance. And when, when folks come out and say, not in my neighborhood, I don't want these people in my neighborhood. I don't want that type of folks. Um, and these elected officials in Glendale stand up and say, thank you for your comments. I appreciate it but I'm sorry, it's happening. It's the right thing to do. And uh, it really uh, uh, energizes me to even do more in my community, in my, in my supervisor districts to really push for, for affordable housing for, for everyone. People are struggling right now. They are, they're struggling just to put a roof over their families. And when you have a project like this, I believe it's called Centerline, 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 um, that is gonna be the house or the home of 368 new families with so many different wraparound type services in there. Uh, it's gonna really help so many families out there in Glendale. So my hat's off to Glendale and the elected official. I know the mayor was there, uh, the governor was there, and, and uh, we participate in a lot of these groundbreaking ceremonies when it comes to housing and affordable housing. But this is the first time that I've ever attended a groundbreaking ceremony or even a ribbon cutting ceremony, that the governor was there and the governor was there to participate. I believe it's her, her, uh, her, uh, it is her um, uh, really passion and understanding of why uh, we need uh, additional housing for families that are struggling. So kudos to everyone that was involved in that project. I was excited to be there, had a great groundbreaking ceremony and look forward to the ribbon cutting ceremony where we can open it up and start allowing families to move in. And thank you to all the partners too, state, county, city, everyone that was involved, a lot of nonprofits, uh, public, everyone, or private, everyone coming together to deal with this. So that was a big thing. The other thing I wanna share, um, there was a, a report by the CDC that talked about youth, and, and you all know, I'm a, I would advocate for, for young people until I die. I mean, it, especially poor kids that, that are facing so many challenges economic, economically and socially, I will advocate to the end. But there was a report that came out that talked about uh, kids, and we talked about how the weather's getting nicer, people are getting outdoors, but those kids that um, uh, are economically challenged in their family, their household, are less likely to have physical activities. And I started reading more about it, and it, it makes sense. You, you would understand it, mm -hmm. because your kids participate in, in sports and, and other uh, club teams. And my niece does too. She does volleyball, she does the gymnastics. I know how expensive it is for these kids to participate. But it talks about how many of these kids that are on the lower economic spectrum aren't able to participate. You have schools that are struggling. They're cutting back on sports and other extracurricular activities. and. You have many of the uh, so-called, uh, Phoenix used to have them all the time, the, you know, the parks and recs, and they're kind of cut back because of, of, of financial restraints. And, and there's less opportunity, especially for kids that just cannot afford the club team. Everything is club now, everything's club. That'd be soccer, baseball, uh, basketball, volleyball, even gymnastics, it's all just clubs. And unless you are in a household that has the financial means to participate, these kids are left out and they don't, they don't have these opportunities. So it was just an eye opener. I would share the, the report to everybody. Uh, it was written by the CDC and just talks about the, uh, the, the, the issues. And then it talks about, of course, obesity and all that stuff related to kids and so on. But it was a great report and it just goes to heart that um, some of our families are facing tremendous challenges. And, and when it comes to trying to, to support our families, it does take a village. It does take everyone coming together from not only the county, the city, the state, nonprofit, the, the private sector, religious uh, faith group, everyone coming together to support our families, let it be housing or just making uh, our kids uh, much more healthier and safe. So just throw that out. 
Well, I'm going to have to bring a little bit of levity now uh, with my comments. First of all, uh, Andrew, was I okay? Uh, Eddie was an honorary board of supervisors, so it fits the agenda. So don't sue me. Okay, great. Um, so uh, this 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 actually passed a couple weeks um, and attending some meetings out, out in my district. Um, made me realize, hey, this is the good part about being the judge. We've, we've been so centered on one topic here for the county, our whole group, everything. It seems that, that that's the only thing that makes a paper. But by going out and visiting um, the two big homeowners associations of Sun City and Sun City West and, and uh, sitting with legislators and talking about you know problems, perceived or otherwise, uh, and getting a chance to talk about what the county's doing as they're, as they're form of government in unincorporated areas made, made me feel uh, really great. The other, the other part that I was able to witness um, uh, was being chairman, but having things I had to accomplish in the West Valley to get to watch my two colleagues and my vice chair open up a fantastic facility along with uh, the judicial side of uh, this family business. Um, and, and knowing that, that some great things were going on in the East Valley, uh, that I could start, that I could continue to take care of things in the West Valley. So thanks for doing a great job and representing. I heard it went very well. I saw, uh, Justice Huberman at the Manaw concert, um, and she talked about it. So that was great. Um, it, uh, a little conversation. Um, I was over in the West Valley also um, at that time talking to the farmers. I had the Farm City Breakfast, and I told the Maricopa County Farm Bureau, listen, uh, this year I'll be there. I'll, I'll, I want to hear people. I want to write down what the problems are. Uh, but my preference is to let the other county electeds shine, um, and I'll just be there if they, if they have any questions. So um, Sheriff Penzone and Eddie Cook uh, was there talking to the farmers in the rural areas. And that it led to this question. The great, great speeches on both of them, very funny, uh, very, very good about what they do for the county. Uh, but uh, sadly, they walked up and asked me, uh, is it standard county uniform? You, your sheriff's wearing this big cowboy hat, your assessor's wearing this cowboy hat. And the way I see it, you're the only farmer uh, that represents the county. Why aren't you wearing a hat? And I said, we don't wear cowboy hats in the chicken barns. It scares the hell out of the chickens. So thank you for representing uh, the rural lifestyle there always, Eddie. Um, and before, before I go, because uh, we're going to bring this in before 11, um, I, I'm going to tell a, a quick story um, and, and how uh, I've talked about it before, about the first time I think... I met Joy Rich, and I've told this story, and um, it always makes Joy wants to run out with her hair on fire. So I remember coming here and, and talking to Joy and uh, remembering that we are of the same age, a wonderful age, by the way. And I was looking at Joy one of our first meetings, and I said, you know, where, Joy, where are you, you, know, where are you from? Uh, Lake Havasu. Now, my parents owned a condo in Lake Havasu from 1978 to like 2007. And uh, I remember as a young man borrowing my brother's jet boat and taking some friends and going to Lake Havasu during spring break on, at college and a little bit after it. And uh, I'm, I re still remember going to a single bar called Who Songs and having this meeting and this conversation, because I think she had some friends, she, she, okay, she had some friends that were there from Lake Havasu. I definitely had some friends from Peoria uh, that were there, and they were mingling around. And I've always been a conversationalist, and I had this great conversation with uh, uh, this nice-looking woman. And we talked for about an hour while our friends were trying to do whatever they were doing. And um, I said, Joy, I think, do you remember? I think that was you. <laughs> and she's never copped to it. <laughs> and I think the very first time uh, 
you know, I told her this story. It's about, you know, when I was telling her this is kind of a new elected uh, and she was uh, uh, assistant assistant county manager at the time. I think she's gonna do the same thing. She got red just like back then and ran out of that room with her hair on fire. So I'm glad that I can do that to you one final time. What could have been Joy Rich. <laughs> I've told my wife that story too. She thinks it's great. So any, anyway, with a little bit of levity, uh, hey, Joy, thank you for, for the great years. Thank you for gi giving us this team, and uh, good luck to everybody. I, I so appreciated our years just because of these types of conversations we've been able to have for a decade now. So uh, with that, we are adjourned. Thank you.